everybody. I hope you're well and staying safe and keeping busy. It's good to rest, but it's also really good to stay busy and doing things, be interested in things. So this story today is was requested by Glenn Ellis. And Glenn Ellis lives in Brisbane, Australia. You know that Australia is all the way that way round the globe. Glenn, here we go, and thank you. The Bremen Town Musicians by the Grimm Brothers, retold by Mrs. Rathbone. The donkey had carried corn sacks to the mill every day for years, but he was growing more and more tired. Before his master did away with him, the donkey ran off, heading toward Bremen. There, he thought, I can surely be a town musician. On the road, he found an old panting hound. Hound, what's happened? Ah, oh, replied the hound, as I am old and weak, my master wanted to get rid of me, so I escaped. So did I, said the donkey. I'm going to Bremen and shall be a town musician there. Come with me. And off they went. Soon they came upon a cat with a face like a rainy day. Cat, what's happened? asked the donkey. Because I'm old now and my teeth are worn to stumps, I can't hunt mice. So my mistress wanted to drown me. So I ran away. So did we. Come with us to Bremen. We shall be town musicians together. So off they went. It wasn't long after they passed a farm where a rooster sat on the gate, crowing with all his might. <coughs> rooster, what's happened? I'm old and guests are coming for dinner. So the housewife told the cook a doodle do that she intends to have me in the soup a doodle do tomorrow. Ah, said the donkey, you'd better come away with us. We're going to Bremen to become musicians. And so all four went off together. That evening they came to a forest and deep inside it was a crumbling old house. The donkey as the tallest went to the window which was brightly lit and looked in. What do you see? asked the rooster. Robbers! exclaimed the donkey. Also, a table covered with good things to eat and many stolen goods beyond. Food a doodle do, groaned the rooster. Stealing was wrong. They all knew that. But how to get in? Then they thought of a plan. The donkey would stand with his forefeet on the window ledge. The hound would jump on his back, the cat was to climb upon the dog, and lastly the rooster was to fly up and perch upon the head of the cat. When all this was done, at a given signal, they began to perform their music together. The donkey brayed, the hound barked, the cat mewed, and the rooster crowed, then they burst through the window into the room, shattering the glass. Terrified, the robbers jumped up, thinking a ghost had come in, and they fled into the forest and were never seen again. Delighted with their good fortune, their four companions solemnly promised, Tomorrow, at first light, we shall return everything the robbers stole. Everyone agreed, and soon, full up and happy, the musicians fell fast asleep, dreaming about their next great concert. The Grimm brothers told a lot of stories, didn't they? What other stories do you know by the brothers Grimm? Write to me and let me know. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye-bye.